After sitting here for an hour or so, wondering why Jamal Murray has been playing so well lately, I could only think of one valid reason. And the reason for that is, Jamal Murray is looking for more girls to put on his Instagram story. No, I'm totally kidding about that, obviously. But the way Jamal Murray and Donovan Mitchell have been playing lately, it wouldn't surprise me if they've had a hundred supermodels sending them messages every single night. For those who may not know, last night, Jamal Murray and the Denver Nuggets forced a game seven against the Utah Jazz. A little over a month ago, before the bubble even started, I made a video talking about my predictions for every single team in the bubble. And in that video, believe it or not, I said that if the Denver Nuggets and the Utah Jazz play each other in the playoffs, I think the winner of this series is going to be determined in seven games, and the winner is going to be the Denver Nuggets. Now, after the Utah Jazz went up 3-1 to one and Donovan Mitchell was destroying the Nuggets, I started to think maybe I was crazy and made a stupid prediction. But now that Jamal Murray and the Denver Nuggets forced the game seven, they're making it look like I know what I'm talking about once again. So thank you, Jamal Murray, and thank you, Denver Nuggets. Now, I have a question for you guys, and please give me your answer down in the comments. Rivalries are nothing new to the NBA. We've seen Magic and Bird, we've seen Shaq and the free throw line, we've seen a bunch of rivalries. So my question to you guys is, and let me know down in the comments, are Jamal Murray and Donovan Mitchell officially a rivalry or is it too soon to label them as that? Now I understand that not everyone watches as many basketball games as I do, so some of you guys might be wondering, Ray, just because Jamal Murray had a few good games, that doesn't subtly mean him and Donovan Mitchell are rivals. And okay, fair point. but let's let me catch you guys up to speed in case you're not aware yet. In game one of this series, Donovan Mitchell had 57 points. Both Donovan Mitchell and Jamal Murray had good games in games two and three. And then in game four, it's like both of them went absolutely crazy. Donovan Mitchell had 51 points and Jamal Murray had 50. And then in game five, both of them played very well. Jamal Murray had 42 points and Donovan Mitchell had 30. Now yesterday in game six, Jamal Murray had 50 points and Donovan Mitchell had 44. So you guys let me know, is this officially a rivalry? If this was just in the regular season, maybe I wouldn't consider it a rivalry, but the fact that these guys are going at it every single night in the playoffs, that's what makes me think we're starting to see the next rivalry in the NBA. And what makes this so special is that neither of these guys have even hit their primes yet. Both Jamal Murray and Donovan Mitchell are only 23 years old, so it's safe to say that they have at least four or five years before they even enter their primes. And and if that doesn't make you excited for the future of the NBA, then honestly, I don't know what will. And what's even crazier than the fact that these two guys have combined for four 50 point games in one playoff series is the fact that after game four, Donovan Mitchell became only the third player in the history of the NBA to have two 50 point games in the same series. And in case you're wondering who the other two guys were, it was none other than Allen Iverson and of course, Michael Jordan himself. So it's safe to say that Donovan Mitchell joined elite company, but just a few days later, Jamal Murray entered the conversation himself Himself. How crazy is the fact that there's been hundreds, maybe even thousands, of playoff series since Jordan and Iverson last played, and in all those years, no one has done what Iverson and Jordan did up until recently, and two guys just so happened to do it in the same series. If that doesn't impress you, once again, I don't know what will. And another accomplishment for Jamal Murray, Jamal Murray became the first player in the history of basketball to have back-to-back 40-point -back games without a single turnover. That is just a mind-blowing stat to me. So basically, that is a minimum of 80 points without even turning the ball over once. And while we're on the topic of Jamal Murray, I want to point out some other things he's been doing this series because I'm pretty sure they're going to blow your mind. Unless you're a Jazz fan, then they're going to piss you off. If you're not a Jazz fan, then this is all pretty impressive. I wrote these down so I don't get the numbers messed up, so when you see me looking at my phone, you know why. So over the past three games, Jamal Murray has been averaging 47.3 points. He's been doing that on 64% from two and 63% from three. And last night, Jamal Murray shot 75% from three. Some of you might be like, good job, Jamal Murray. You made three out of four threes. Good job, Jamal Murray. And even though for most NBA players, making three out of four threes in one game is a very good shooting night, Jamal Murray didn't get his 75% on three of four from three. Jamal Murray got that 75% on nine of 12 from three. 
nine made three pointers out of 12. How often do you see that, especially in the playoffs and especially for a 23 year old? Most 23 year olds in the United States just got a bachelor's degree a year ago or so and just got their first real job. Meanwhile, Jamal Murray is making millions in the NBA and setting records that only Iverson and Jordan have also done. What more is there to say about Jamal Murray? Really, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless when it comes to Jamal Murray. So because of that, I'm not gonna say anything else about Jamal Murray. Let's talk about Donovan Mitchell. Because even though Donovan Mitchell lost last night, what he's been doing this series is very remarkable. So I already told you that he's put up two 50 point games this series, you already know that. But throughout the series, he's been averaging 38.7 points on 55% from two and 55% from three while making 95% of his free throws. That is an A plus. How often do you see a 23 year old guard shooting 55% from the field or 55% from three? Yet this guy is doing both. 55% from the field, 55% from three. And this is only his third year in the NBA. Donovan Mitchell, if you ever wanna to come to the Lakers, please do so. Same goes for you, Jamal Murray. The Lakers should start paying me for how often I holler at players to come join us, but that's a different topic for itself. After losing the game last night, obviously Donovan Mitchell was pretty mad. Here you can see what appears to be him tipping over a bike. And while we're on the topic of post-game antics, Jamal Murray had a very emotional post-game interview last night. I would play the entire thing for you guys, but I don't want to get a copyright claim. So I chopped it up a little bit just to focus on the main points of the interview. And I'm going to play that for you guys. How did you carry over the momentum from an explosive game four, game five, and then put everything else aside that happened this week and go out and drop 50 in a must-win game tonight? I got a way to win. These shoes mean a lot. With all the... These shoes mean a lot. Take a deep, deep breath, Jamal. You were outstanding tonight. We understand that, that these are tough times. Jamal, what, what are you thinking about right now? If you find things that hold value, you find things to fight for. And we found something worth fighting for as an NBA, as a collective unit. And I use these shoes as a, as a symbol to me to be fighting all around the world. So like I said, they give me a lot of power to keep fighting. We want to win. I show my emotion. It comes out, so. You have a picture of George Floyd on your right shoe here. We got Brianna Taylor. Why why has this been so personal for you, Jamal? Because it's not just in America, it happens everywhere. And uh, for us coming together at NBA. And you know, it doesn't take one meeting, it takes a couple meetings, a few meetings, it takes phone calls, it takes persistence. It's not gonna take one night, and we've been doing trying to fight for 40 years. But these shoes give me life. Even though these people are gone, they give me life, they give me, uh, they help me find strength to keep fighting this world. Very powerful stuff coming from Jamal Murray. And even though I'm not a fan of either team, I am a fan of basketball and I am a fan of greatness. So when game seven comes around, I'm looking to see what these guys put up. That's it for today, you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Comment your thoughts down below. I wanna know what you think of these two guys and what you think of this series. Once again, do you guys think this is a new rivalry in the NBA or is it too soon to label it that? And for those of you who are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. I post a new NBA video every morning, 9 a.m. And Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to stay up to date on everything going on in the playoffs, just hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm out of here, y'all. If you're still here, consider watching this other video I picked out for you down below. Please just watch it. I'm trying to get to 300 subs, so go watch that video. Let me know what y'all think. And hit the like button on that video too. All right, see you guys.